Welcome back to Racket Central. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Here we have the new Dune Prophecy trailer dropped today. Um, I have not watched this yet. I'm going to live react to it now in this video. This will probably get copywritten, but that's okay. I understand this is their property, but I am promoting it, so it would be nice if they didn't. But besides the fact, here we go now, the latest trailer for Dune Prophecy. I think this is the official trailer, actually, not as teaser, so it should be interesting. Here we go. We've never seen a force like this. Watch now. Okay, right off the bat there, I saw a worm destroying an entire city. Holy crap, did you guys see that? We're gonna go back and look at that in a minute. The sisterhood draws women from many worlds to advance our species. Okay, so Sisterhood going in right there. Hopefully, um, if I time this right, I can I can pause it to where I can not get copywritten. But here we go. And govern the future. The Imperium is fragile. The Great House. So right there, we just that is some awesome dude. Oh, this is awesome. This is better than what you can definitely tell they've done some different post effects since this show's been in development since the last trailer because did you see the special effects on that uh basically uh highliner well it's a highliner but it's in in denny ville news universe because people don't understand this takes place in the denny ville news vision of dune universe so it'll be similar uh technology similar you know scenery and all that so it'll look everything will look very similar to him to his vision fight of control now is the time to secure the throne and protect the Imperium so you see the the Bene Gesserit are already plotting they're not Bene Gesserit they're the sisterhood so this is based on Sisterhood of a Dune the book the Brian Herbert which is Frank Herbert's son his son wrote the book Sisterhood of a Dune this is and this is being adapted to prop Dune prophecy because it's gonna be loosely adapted from what I understand. So a lot of the characters from the book will, might not be in this show. This endangers everything. There are secrets we have gone to great lengths to keep. The Imperium is... So uh, what people don't understand, a lot of this is happening on uh, planets that we know, but Seleucus Secundus uh, isn't basically the Sardaukar training planet yet. So we might see that planet in its old-fashioned way, where it looked 10,000 years before. And we're going to see the home planet of the uh, Bene Gesserit, or precursor to the Bene Gesserit, the Sisterhood. So we're going to see, and Dune is in this show, because Dune is in the book a lot, actually, if Sisterhood of Dune. So what we should see, well, it's Dune, so Dune has to be in there. But there's actually a lot of the book that takes place in on the planet Dune, Arrakis. So it's very interesting. Circus of fear and rumor. I'm surrounded by vipers. If I lose control of Arrakis, the great houses would feed me to the worm. Yeah, see, this is very loosely based on uh, the book because I don't think in the book it's a different emperor and then. I don't think he ever has a conversation with anybody about losing control of Arrakis. At that time, Spice is being, uh, the space folding ships are done by Benki Enterprises, a, a private company. So it's not the Spacing Guild yet, technically, and it's not a Chome Company, and all that comes later. So that's all after this. So we'll see how they work that in. And Mentats are just an emerging school. They've only been around for a little while. Are they even going to show... Uh, Gibraltar, because Gibraltar is run starts the Mentat schools, and then Norma Senva starts the basically the first Space Guild navigators because she's the first Space Guild navigator, but she's mutated. So we'll, I don't know if they're going to show her in this or not. We'll see what happens. Holy crap! Your Majesty, the troubles are far greater than just Arrakis. There's a war hidden in plain sight. Yeah, so it looks like they're going to have that strife between Benki Enterprises and Holdings. And 
the the Butlerians are still lurking here too, seeking out and trying to destroy technology out there. Because you have to understand, this takes place after humanity has banned, has beaten the AI, gotten back their freedom, and now the Butlerians, which are the jihadis against technology, are going around and destroying all tech. If you get caught with tech, it's pretty much a death sentence. You're put to death or all that. So we'll see what happens. But I'm assuming there's going to be scenes where we show Butlerians hunting down technology. People get caught with computers, stuff like that, and then get executed. I don't know. We'll see if they show that, hopefully. I'm the only one that can tell you the truth. What do you want? To wipe out every trace of the sisters from our world. So right there, you can tell he's already, looks like he's trying to wipe wipe all trace of theirs. I, I don't know exactly what he's talking about there in this realm, If he's because he's not a Bene Gesserit. Is he supposed to be, because uh, there is a male, essentially Bene Gesserit type person in the Butlerian Jihad books. Iblix Ginjo, he's a bad guy, but he's, he's, he has natural manipulative abilities of like a Bene Gesserit, yeah, but he's a man. So he can manipulate people, he can persuade people. Maybe he's playing a guy like that. I don't know, we'll guess we'll see. That is why I've been gifted a great bow. Consider me a true believer. We've never seen a force like this. Wow. This could destroy the Imperium. Man, I'm really, dude, this is looking good, dude. Wow, it looks like he's gonna be some sort of a, a, a maybe he's the first Sardaukar car or something. Who knows? It, it, maybe he's a sword master of Ganaz that has pr premonition, basically, you know, because basically man, men can have telepathic abilities like Bene Gesserit too in this world, but it's not as common as with women because women train the board. So we'll see what happens. We must act. I see the corruption in your heart. Same way I see the blood trailing your every step. This looks really good so far. You can see there, see only one person, if it, if it follows the book, only one sister has taken a poison and elevated to Reverend Mother at this point. There's only one. But this takes place, it looks like, a few years after the book, so it could be a few more by this point. I, don't, I guess we have to see really how they're going to work it. Okay, obviously right there. Okay, so they're already showing that uh, she is now a Reverend Mother. And so that that's basically a, um, a Harkonnen. Valia Harkonnen. So she's younger in the book, so it looks like this is years later, and now she took the poison. So she she has already taken the poison. But they'll probably do flashbacks, I'm guessing. Then, uh, which will be should be interesting. The reckoning is here. I run a school for young women. We're not a threat to anyone. Holy smokes! This is a this show looks like it's gonna be good, dude. I, I'm, I'm getting shivers. All right, so there it is. So hopefully I don't get copyrighted. I just thought I paused it a lot. I'll probably still get copywritten. So right here in the beginning, I want to see that that worm, dude. It doesn't show, but there's a there's a scene with that seen worm. It, it's like that. There's a look at that, man. That worm is eating an entire villa or little mini monastery city right there. Wow, that is it. Look at that shot. And the worm's just like the movie. I love that, that they're keeping the same worm shape. I was worried about that. Man, that is awesome. I'll do a separate video uh, analyzing screenshots from this. So stay, stand by for, for that video. What do you guys think about this trailer? I think the show is looking really good now. I was worried about it, and after seeing this, I'm less worried. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit closer to the book than we originally thought. 
a little bit. We know it's not going to be exactly like the book because the movies aren't exactly like the books, but as long as they, they hit all the main notes, like Doom Part 1 and Doom Part 2 did, I'll be happy and, and nothing's no real real world modern day stuff's put in there per se if you know what i mean so as long as that doesn't happen i want to only do universe politics dune universe stuff in there that's all i want that's all we need and it'll be a dang hit show so let me know what you think in the comments comment down below remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time